Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher and today I'm going to be going over a basic tutorial on how to import and use LUTs in DaVinci Resolve 15. Now I've been wanting to do some sort of basic and, you know, intermediate DaVinci Resolve tutorials because I think a lot of people are starting to move from Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro to DaVinci Resolve and using it as a full-time editor. So if you're new to the channel, and this is why you're here, thank you for coming, and uh, be sure to subscribe. We have a lot of tutorials, behind the scenes, gear stuff, all that kind of stuff. Uh, a lot more coming soon, of course, too. So today I wanted to show you guys if you're not familiar with using LUTs in DaVinci Resolve 15. Uh, it's a little bit different. It can be a little bit confusing. Uh, you know, the UI or the you know user interface of DaVinci Resolve can be a little bit confusing when you first get into it. So the first thing you want to make sure you do is obviously you can go through, you can edit your clips however you want, which I'll do some tutorials on different editing and stuff like that. Um, but once you're ready to color, you're going to come down here and click on the color tab. I'm just going to click on my monitor over there. So you're going to come click on your color tab, whoops, and that's going to bring up your color page. Now this is basically, imagine if you're a Premiere Pro user, this is the Lumetri panel, just a full window of it. Um, so of course down here you have your clips that you have, um, you have your image right here, you have all of your controls, curves, and wheels, and all kinds of different stuff, which we're just going to not be really using any of this today, and then also your scopes. So um, you might be looking at this and say, well how do I get a LUT? How do I even use a LUT on here? So the first thing you want to know is that everything's going to happen over here in your nodes tree. These are basically like layers, they work differently. Um, but if you're just starting out, it's good to kind of think of these as layers. So what we're going to do and what I like to do is I always like to click Alt S and create a new layer. Reason being is you usually want to leave the first layer either untouched or for white balance and small exposure correction. You don't want a LUT on that first node or layer if you're just getting used to it. So, okay, so now you got your second node and you say, well, how do you want, how do I put a LUT? Well, you can right click and go to LUTs and then go through all of them and select them. But one of the things that DaVinci, I think it's DaVinci Resolve 15, it might have been 14, uh, brought the LUT, um, I don't I guess, uh, previewer, I guess is the best word for it, LUT previewer. And what this does is it shows you all of your installed LUTs and then you can, of course, go through and select them as you want. Now, the first thing you may say is, well, wait a minute, like maybe you bought a LUT pack or you subscribe to Lutify, which I'm not, a, they're not a sponsor, but I highly, highly recommend a lot of their LUTs. Now, there are some ones that come in. So, of course, like film looks are uh, baked in. Uh, a lot of these, I think, are up here. But so let's say you bought a LUT pack and you want to install them and you don't know how to install them into DaVinci Resolve. Well, it's a little bit different, and um, it's actually going to work out better. So in most softwares, you have to go in and import a LUT per clip. Uh, but of course, when they're in the LUT previewer, it's in. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to DaVinci Resolve. and Or I'm excuse, excuse me. <laughs> you're going to go up to File, and then click Project Settings. Now, the great thing is you only have to do this once. You don't have to do this for every project. Just do this once, and it'll be there. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on Color Management. Now this is going to bring us to all of our color management and none of this really matters right now except this lookup tables and again none of this matters all you have to see is open LUT folder and update lists. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on open LUT folder and what this does is this brings up the folder that DaVinci Resolve looks to for all of its LUTs. So all you need to do is just copy and paste whatever folder of LUTs. Um, if you want to, I recommend to keep it organized. Make a new folder maybe that says, you know, whatever type of LUT it is or LUTs if it's a LUT pack and then put those inside there. And then once you're done with that, now I'm not going to do that because I'll explain in a minute. But so you take your LUT pack or whatever you want, you copy and paste it in this folder. You're going to X out. And then you're going to click update lists. Now, when you do this, you need to know that your computer is basically going to freeze for like a minute or two minutes. Um, it like pretty much just like shuts down. So don't click this unless you've actually done that. You've put a LUT in there. If you haven't, don't click it. Um, but don't be alarmed when you click it. It's going to basically freeze for a minute and you're going to think your computer's dead and it's fine. It will go away. So give it a minute. That'll update. And then what that does is it'll actually then show whatever LUT pack that you have in here. So for instance, I installed the LUTify pack. And the cool thing is, is it keeps the folder structure of the actual, uh, you know, the folder structure that you have in that folder. <clears throat> so what that allows you to do is, for instance, um, I did, I think it's, 
uh, where is it? There's one of them. Yeah, so like I broke these up into the cubes and the VLTs. Now, VLTs doesn't really matter because it's like a monitoring thing. Different story. But you could, of course, break these up. Lutify is the best example of this. Utility LUTs, like log conversions, white balance, monitoring. And then you can go back and you have the color grading LUTs. So then they have all those. So now you may be thinking, well, how do I apply a LUT? So again, you could always right click on the node and then go in that way. But let's say we're going to go to Lutify and utility LUTs, log conversion. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to do our Panasonic <clears throat> v gamut to uh, rec 79 now you see when i scrub over it what it actually does is it previews the clip with that lut now, that's really nice especially when you're doing like a creative lut where maybe you want to go between a couple different ones and see what they look like and then all you have to do is make sure that you have the node that you selected that you want the lut to go on to you're going to right click on the lut in the previewer and then click apply lut to current node <clears throat> and then boom now, immediately what it did is that put that LUT on that node. And then you can see if we right click on that node and go to LUTs, we can see that it's actually selected. So now, boom, you have a LUT. Now, let's say you want to add another one on top, like a, a stylized LUT or something. Click Alt S, make a new node. You could go to LUTify again. We'll just use that one. Or you know what? Actually, let's go to, or yeah, we'll stick in LUTify just because we used a 709 LUT. Uh, I'll do a vintage film. And you see that we can go through and we can look at what these are going to do and decide if we want to add those or not. So let's say we wanted that. Right click, apply LUT to node, and boom. And that's how you apply LUTs. It's, it's honestly really simple. And one thing that I really do love is the fact that it's actually built into DaVinci Resolve, the previewer. But not only that, is once you install those LUTs, they're there. One of the things I hated most... Um, in particular about Premiere Pro, was uh, you can install some LUTs, although the organization was really bad, but I always felt like I was going out, browsing to a folder, and then having to select it. We're having all of these right here. Um, it's just so nice. And if for some reason you don't see this panel, all you have to do is just click on this LUTs up here. You can just click on that, and it'll appear. And then you can hide it. So let's say, let's say we didn't want this stylized LUT. Let's say we just wanted that one. You can click on it, and then you can, of course, go in and start doing your actual corrections or whatever you want to do and you know beforehand whatever so yeah it's pretty simple using LUTs is a really awesome way to add a look or some type of color transformation or just do a, a lot of different stuff you can of course make custom LUTs um, if you guys want to see a video on that because there is a way you can actually export LUTs from a grade so you can do a color grade and export a LUT and just another quick tip let's say you wanted to copy this LUT to a different clip so let's say you you have your correction and then you have your LUT and you want to just quick copy to another clip. If you click on that other clip and you have your clip selected, so make sure this is turned on. You have your clip selected and then you're going to center mouse click. So this is like on like the wheel on the corrected clip and then boom, it just brought over those same ones. Now, don't forget, though, let's say you were to let's say this shot was really overexposed. So I like I underexposed it quite a bit. When I click on that, it's going to do that to both. So just keep that in mind. It's really whatever. Uh, there are There is a shared nodes workflow, but that's a whole other story. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you apply some LUTs to your uh, clips. Be sure to let me know down in the comments below if there's other tutorials that you guys want to see. I really want to make sure that I'm putting out tutorials that you guys want to know about and different things. I did do a video on how to export in DaVinci Resolve that goes over the whole delivery page and how to export videos and a bunch of different formats, that kind of stuff. But you guys let me know. I definitely want to make sure that I'm doing tutorials that you guys are excited about and enjoy. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.